Young moms, the biggest struggle that they face is not finding time for themselves, not burning out, and they wanna be role models for their kids. And so today's video, I'm gonna tell you how my wife and Rachel and many other moms at Fit Club were able to make it work. So number one is that I want you to bring your kids to the gym. Number two is that I want you to be patient. Number three, I want you to use support. So young moms, how you're gonna stay fit is that I want you to bring your kids to the gym, be patient, use support, use the virtuals, and have the mindset that you're going to try the best. Now the first thing I want you to do is bring your kids to the gym. This allows time for climatization. So my kids were in their car seats from when they were born and during the COVID times when we used to do virtuals, my kids used to sit in their car seats and they used to watch us work out. Nowadays, the parents are bringing their kids into their car seats, they're sitting there with their snacks and they're watching their moms work out. So they're right from birth, they're getting used to being in the environment, being used to being away from their mother, having time where if the baby cries, the mom can go and visit the baby. But at the same time, that is the best time to get them in so that they can grow into it. And next thing you know, it's second nature. Now, if you're starting a little bit later, and let's say that your kids are older, they're three or four years old, and they don't really sit lots. The thing that you need to do is that you got to be patient is that one day you might be able to get three minutes of workout out of, 30, out of 30 minutes, but maybe one day you might be able to get 30. But no matter the time, it's about trying and improving and never giving up. So what you need to do is make sure these kids are set up for success. If they're watching screens, have a screen ready for them. Have snacks around them. Put them in a nice environment. Like at Fit Club, we have a couple areas where the kids sit in a enclosed room, with the curtain, uh, they still have access to you if they need it, but they're on a table, on a chair, with their snacks, with their food. If the kid runs out, you come back, you set them up, get them to sit, leave when it's appropriate, and that might happen a couple times. But you do this long enough, and three minutes is gonna turn into four minutes. Four minutes is gonna turn into five, five, and next thing you know, you're at 30. But eventually, if you don't give up, and you keep trying, you find different tactics that's gonna get your kid to sit for 30 minutes, eventually you are going to win and you're gonna be able to do your workouts disruption free. Number three is to use your support. So maybe you have to work out while everybody is sleeping. Yes, that might mean that you gotta get up at 4.45 in the morning. Most kids, most babies are sleeping during that time. So you might have to rely on your significant other to support you and you might have to go to bed a lot earlier because to make these 445 workouts, you're gonna to have to go to bed early in order to keep the same energy levels. But the thing is, is that you're going to be tired because it's something new. But again, you have to continue to try so that you continue to prove. And next thing you know, it becomes second nature. In fact, our busiest class times are at five in the morning and 540 in the morning. And the people didn't just like say, hey, I'm gonna just start working out at five in the morning. They got accustomed to it. They got so accustomed to it that now it becomes second nature to them. So it's no longer a trying habit. It's something that they're just naturally built out and their circadian rhythm is built to wake up at that time and function and be primed for the entire day. So initially you might have to use support if you cannot bring the kid to the gym at that time. And fourth, use the virtuals. So Neri used to have a gym that was near her office, which was super convenient. She bought a gym membership and her lunchtime, she was able to go there and get her second workout in for the day, but they closed down. And so now when she goes to the office, she brings a big carry-on luggage. Inside this carry-on luggage is her workout clothes, a roll-up mat and a light set of dumbbells. What does she do? She goes and finds an open space during her lunch break and she just brings her equipment, gets out her cell phone, and she does a virtual during her break. Now to me, this beats sitting around, eating a bunch of carbs, and drinking a bunch of fatty coffee, which is not gonna help you get any closer to your goals. So if you do have to go to the office and you're looking for that extra workout that you need, or if it's your main workout, then do the virtuals that Fit Club offers, get yourself a carry-on luggage, throw a couple eights or 10 pounders in there, get a nice mat so you're not laying on the floor, bring your workout clothes and boom, make it happen. And the last but not least is that you have to have the mindset that you are going to try your best. It's not going to be perfect on the front end. It's probably not gonna be perfect right away or even in the near future. But eventually, if you continue to work at it, improve, make changes, adjust and never give up, you take it day by day, I'm gonna tell you that trying is always the best way to go. 
So I believe in you and I want you to make this work. I want you to start bringing your kids to the gym. Be patient. Use the support that you do have. Use virtuals either as a supplementary to your workout or as your main workouts and have the bend but never break mentality. So if you're looking for support and guidance and you want to know exactly what to do without thinking, then contact us www.fitclub.fit. Hit the get started button and we'll get you started on the right path.